Hello everyone, I'm Judge Penny Wolfgang and welcome to The Big Picture. During the season of Passover and Easter, we reflect on goodness, compassion, and giving, no matter what your religion. One of the organizations that helps so many in our hometown is Catholic Charities. Joining us through Zoom technology is Deacon Steve Schumer, President and CEO. Welcome, Deacon Steve. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here okay. today. Appeal 2021 launched in January with a goal of $10 million to address the critical need for tons of thousands of people here in Western New York and all the eight counties. Is, do you think, Deacon, that's a realistic goal considering what everyone has been going through this year, not only with the pandemic, but from some of the challenges that the church has faced? You know, Penny, we, uh... We had a lot of discussion about how to set the goal this year. Uh, the goal was also 10 million last year, and I'm sorry to say we did not make the goal. So as we, as we decided how to set the goal, we decided to set the goal relative to the need in our community, not based on what's realistic or achievable. So you have to have faith and move forward. And the, the sad truth is, the need has not diminished since last year. In fact, the need has increased. So that's how we arrived at the goal. Okay, uh, let me ask you about the significance of this year's theme, hope, H-O-P-E, hope, and the, the patron saint who is spiritually guiding the campaign. Absolutely, thank you. Hope for all seasons has been the agency's slogan for about 20 years. And as we sat around trying to decide what should be the, the theme for the campaign, we kept coming back to what does the community need? What do us as individuals need right here, right now, especially in these difficult times? And we came right back to hope. That's really what we need. You know, when, when we put, uh, uh, when we give somebody food at one of our nine food pantries, yeah, there's food in the bag, but there's also hope that tomorrow's gonna be a little better because now they've got food and, and on and on and on. So that's really what we do is we give people hope. And so that's, we thought our best way to articulate that. Okay, and what about the patron saint? Saint Ignatius of Loyola. You know, of course, he's a patron saint of, of, uh, of, 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 of the Jesuits, really. And, and there's a lot of uh, good, loving Jesuits, you know, Canisius College, Canisius High School. And so we, we, we thought, let's, let's give a nod to our, our Jesuit, uh, Jesuit people and, and, and kind of go with, with, with Saint Ignatius. So um, we, we, that's sort of how we landed there. You're right. That that resonates a lot with people in Western New York, I'm sure. Oh, now, Catholic, yeah. Yeah, Catholic Charities is the most comprehensive human services provider, serving people of all faiths. So how many programs does Catholic Charities serve? We operate 57 programs all over Western New York. We count 80 locations. And we served last year 149,000 people whose lives were impacted in some way by Catholic Charity Services. So let me ask you about some of the programs that support more than 150,000 people, children, and families. I know some of them include basic assistance along with education, safety, refugee assistance, mental health, and help for those who are fighting substance abuse. Can you tell us a little bit about the programs? Absolutely, you've just sort of run down the, the broad categories. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's interesting to look at, let's talk about workforce education for a minute. We're a very large provider of high school equivalency. And of course, one of the most important ways to lift a family out of poverty is with uh, training and education and the ability to get a job. And so over in what used to be the American Axle Plant, we operate our workforce education classrooms to provide those kinds of services. Uh, another very critical service is, is our multi-systemic therapy, which is a, a, a credentialed evidence-based program for families with a troubled teenager. And we help them with the skills necessary to help that young man or young woman stay out of trouble with the law and stay in school and, and continue to develop into a healthy contributing member of the society. So just two real quick examples. So there's such a wide range and people I'm sure don't necessarily know all the different services that you provide. So it's good we can talk about it. Now, donors can designate their gift from several options. What are those options? 
So the, uh, the appeal supports both Catholic charities as well as the fund for the faith. And the fund for the faith is, is on the diocesan side of the house where they provide, think of the spiritual works of mercy. Uh, for example, training of priests and deacons and, and lay people. And so uh, people have a, uh, a, a donation card was mailed to many of people who've donated in the past. And there's a checkbox. People can designate their gift either to Catholic Charities alone or to the Fund for the Faith alone or to, uh, to share it between both needs. That's great. And how long does the appeal last? Till we when? run the appeal until June the 30th. And, and this is a big weekend for us. Uh, Palm Sunday is traditionally the weekend that uh, uh, we used to go door to door collecting and now it's sort of a mail based thing. But uh, so this is a big push to try to get as close as we can. Right now, I'm pleased to tell you, Penny, we are at uh, $5.5 million of our 10 million goal. So we're very hopeful. We're off to a strong start. And we're really trusting that the people of Western New York would like to step forward and help us to help our neighbors. And, and you know they, they always do come through, don't they, people in Western New York? Now, let's be sure that we give the website that people can log on to so that they make it easy for them. Thank you. Yes, indeed. That's uh, ccwny.org. Think Catholic Charities, Western New York.org. And we have a phone number as well. If people would like to call us on the phone, uh, our, our, our phone number here is 218 one four zero zero two one eight one four zero zero we'd be happy to help you either way yes because some people use the old-fashioned ma bell system i know mm -hmm. and i mm -hmm. i know one of them sitting here <laughs> that does it so okay well thank you so much really it's been a pleasure talking to you and deacon steve schumer from catholic charities remember you can help by visiting ccwny.org backslash donation